Yes, today we are back with the next part of Operation Quarterback, episode two. So if you haven't seen the last one, our girl's an FBI agent, and there's a bit of a fight that went on with this girl named Scarlet Garbage, but we apparently got demoted, kind of, sorta, and we are now have to be an undercover bodyguard and look out for this senator's child and make sure he's okay. He's in college, so we gotta pretend to be college students. And naturally, little did we know, when we went to the club last night, we were all up on him. So whoops so we're gonna see what happens but i hope you guys enjoy and without further ado let's start operation coochie back i'm holding cruz crap girl we know we were all up on him last night we found the target everything all right there you look like you've seen a ghost oh you know it's i'm fine it's fine we're good we're good you don't seem fine but whatever moving on okay well we didn't ask you <laughs> we're, we're good oh we was we was feeling something that night. You left before I could catch your name. It's Victoria. Victoria Diamonds. A pretty name for a pretty face. Well, it looks as though I've just met the campus flirt. You know, I thought that you looked stunning when I saw you on Friday night, but just, but you look just as beautiful now as you did then. Okay. You can keep the compliments coming. It's fine, Holden. Why haven't I ever seen you on campus before? We just transferred here. Uh, now would be a good time to grow. If you think I'm gonna do all that, you're gonna have to deal with this yourself. It's fine. Nice going, Victoria. Hey, you mentioned you were going to Harris Hall. What class are you in right now? Econ, room 205, me too. Must be fate. <laughs> fate or FBI level hacking? <laughs> Come on, I'll show you a shortcut. Okay, so we met him. We got to know him. We got to know different parts of him. We're going to class with him. Let's see here. Hold in. Hey cutie, how was your summer break? Oh my gosh, the, the squad is here. I'll leave you to catch up with your groupies. Catch you later. I really hope Armstrong's in a good mood because he's not going to like that I've already blown it with Holden. Well, you haven't got there yet, sis. It's fine. This better be good news because I'm in no mood today. Totally. Oh, well, it's actually more of an idea. An idea. A pitch. Oh God, hear me out. I know my mission was to protect Holden without him ever knowing I'm here, but I think I should actually get to know him. Close, but not too close. We already failed that, so... I'm listening. By befriending him, the likelihood that he'll suspect I'm his bodyguard will be much lower, and I'll be better able to protect him by getting to know his personality and routines. You're thinking like a true agent, Diamond. Good work. In fact, I want you to start today. Get him to take you to lunch. Make sure he wants to see you again. Don't blow this diamond and report back after duty. Yes, sir. You know, Captain Armstrong could low-key get it if you wear some chapstick. He needs to put some chapstick on those dry lips, but he could get it. Just after I go to econ. Oh, uh, we have to go to, who is this? Mind if I sit here? What do I look like? The chair of police sit wherever you want. Oh, this is Buck. Okay, I'm a little surprised that you're not over there fawning over Cruz like every other female in this class. Is this guy for real? Um, no one cares. Buck plus one. Oh, did we get a second option? Because Buck. <laughs> He's not even worth the effort. I only ask because in the last three years, you're the only girl that hasn't. Why do you even care? I believe in knowing my best friends. Oh, that's his, oh, that's his best friends. Um... Oh, what's up? <laughs> Your friends are holding? Why does that surprise you? I don't know. He's got the whole boy next door look going on in you. He's got the whole James Dean vibe happening. It's like, who do we pick here? Do we pick Holden? Who's like Mr. Like cute boyish? Or we have Buck, who's like Mr. Bad Boy. Or we could low-key go with Holden's dad, to be quite honest. Might as well just go right up the family tree. I'm surprised you made it out of there. Those girls looked bloodthirsty. Or just thirsty. He's like, Ugh. Good morning, everyone. Today we're starting with a course overview. If you can open your syllabus to page one, we'll get started. Hey, wait. You know, you're a little hard to get a read on. I just like having keeping people on their toes. It's fine. I'm learning that. So what's up? I just wanted to get to know you. That's getting, that's a little too... Oh, it's that bad. Say I think you're cool. Absolutely not. Compliment your intelligence. A little weird. Just get to know you. I know I'm a little hot and cold, but I really like to get to know you. 
I like that too. But given the whole hot and cold thing, can I trust it? You seem pretty and interested in getting to know me. Uh, no I'm not. Uh huh, then what are you doing right now? Free as a bird. Get lunch with me. Prove that you're not just gonna run off again. If I go to lunch, I'll follow Armstrong's orders and show holds and I'm trustworthy. Well, if we're using your meal card, I'm in. Deal. We got a free lunch. So where do you usually sit? Follow me. I'll show you to my go-to table. Oh, we have a go-to table. What is this? I see the appeal of what? Your table. Good natural light. Nice proximity to the buffet line. <laughs> What more could you need? They really talk about this table. You get me. I'm just a girl who believes in seconds. Did I just fall in love? Oh, I wouldn't. With your burger, right? It's right in your line of vision. We're not seeing any of those words just yet. Are you ever going to let me like you? Only time shall tell. Will you at least, you're at least letting me get to know you. I'll take what I can get. Little does he know. So tell me something about yourself. Well, art is my thing. I was drawing on the walls before I could even walk. Is she telling the truth or a lie? I don't know. I love a little self-expression. An artist, huh? Very fitting. What about you? My family's always been under the public eye, so it's been hard to do normal kid things. But football has always been that rock for me that's kept me grounded. It can't be easy always feeling like you're always on stage. You have no idea. But moments like this with you make things feel okay. She's like, huh? We barely know you. And he already getting in his feelings. Can you believe Holden isn't sitting with the boys for lunch? It's pretty impressive that the new girl slipped Golden Boy off his feet so fast. She must be pretty awesome if Holden is gushing over her. You and Holden are the talk of the town. Sorry I brought you into this mess. They're not wrong though. You are pretty awesome. Believe me, I can handle a little gossip. Oh yeah? When I was 10, I fell asleep with gum in my mouth. When I woke up, there was a huge knot of hair and bubble gum on my head. I ended up having to cut chunks of my hair out. All the kids at school made fun of me for years. If you were in middle school, you would have been like a scene queen though. With them layers, I developed pretty thick skin from that one. Man, kids are ruthless. Tell me about it. I haven't chewed gum since. Well, if you're ever ready to face your fears or if you need protection from all bubble gum, I'm here for you. My hero. I'm really happy I came here with you. Me too. I'm usually super cautious about who I'm open with, but there's something about you. I kind of low-key feel bad because he likes us. He going a little quick though, and we are totally an undercover agent. Whoops. I guess I just feel like I can be real with you. Well, you can be real with us. The other way around, not so sure about that. Is that corny? I guess I'm just saying that I really like being around you. You're a sweet guy, Holden. Nothing like the dumb mean jocks of the movies and stories make athletes to be. Ha 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 ha. I'm glad I can do a little better than dumb and mean. Text beep. Is this our captain? Why does she look sad? I have to run. But next time, as long as there is a next time. Oh, okay. He's playing Mr. Smooth Moves over here. So what's work need? What great timing. Open our text message. Um, oh, okay. Agent Diamond, the college has assigned you room 115 for your stay on campus. Head to the campus housing to collect your keys. I have agents coming with your belongings. And I bet my room is right next to Holden's. Oh, we're going to be next to him, room 115. This must be it. Who's our dorm mate? What? We heard someone needed help moving into her college dorm. Okay, it's our friends. I can't believe that Armstrong sent you guys. What can we say? We're both very persuasive when it comes to you. Our friends are so sweet, and we were dying to come help you decorate your dorm room. We know how much you love your apartment. And we'll be back to it one day soon, but in the meantime, you deserve a place you love. That's why you brought some options. Jen even consulted an interior designer. It's a dorm room. She spent hours getting everything just right. There were mood boards. You guys, I can't believe you did all this for me. I can't wait another second. Let's show you. Okay. Oh, the rug is cute, though. The, this one's a clean neutral palette, modern but cozy. I love that one. Not only will it make living here more bearable, but it will totally help you fit in. Okay, this one's more, or you can bring out your girly side with some pastel pink. Still of the gray. The gray accents age it up just enough. 
or we have our basic one. Or you could leave it a little more minimalistic. <laughs> Nonsense. She's not leaving it bare. What does your dream dorm room look like, Victoria? We got one, two. Uh, I like the more adult one. I love this room. Yay. You deserve it, Victoria. You deserve a room that feels like home. So what do you say? Oh, I thought we were really getting a free thing right there. I was like, oh my gosh, we just got a free dorm room, sis. You wouldn't leave it bare. Thanks, guys, but I'd rather not unpack. Knock, knock. Who's that? No one knows I'm here. Except. Is it Holden? Before I even peer through the people, something inside me already knows who it is her man's arriving. And even if I didn't have an inkling who was at my door, the broad set of shoulders through the people were a dead giveaway. Oh my gosh. Holden, <laughs> what are we gonna do? Everybody remain calm. I'll handle this. I will. I'm gonna freeze up, sis. Not a back to back. Uh uh. Holden, hey, sorry. I don't know how I'd guess over. First off, how do you know where we live? How did you just figure that out? Did I miss something? Maybe I missed something. If I did, it's I probably did, but I don't think I did. Uh. Hi. It's all right. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I know this seems weird, but you left your notebook in the dining hall after lunch and I wanted to return it back to you. The RA said that you had just moved into this room when I was asking around. Okay, so he has a good story of how he knows. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. Do you live nearby? Room 121, just down the hall. Oh, they can do little midnight meetings. Of course. I'm on my way to football practice, but if you need a hand with anything, I'm only a few doors away. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Bye. I bet they're like, that wasn't awkward at all. I know. That's the guy I'm supposed to be protecting. That's him. He looks like a Greek guy. Oh, well, it's gonna have to be protection, all right, but oh, please. He's not that attractive. Jealous much? So did the senator want you to protect his son or date him? Stop, girl. We're gonna see all of them. You know, he's cute as hell, right? You'd be crazy to not be interested. And you clearly capture his attention. Who brings someone's empty notebook back to him? You make a good point. It does seem possible he's developing feelings, but I've got no intention of changing the parameters of our relationship. Liar. Liar. Liar, 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 Victoria. I think what Jin's trying to say is that this Holden guy's clearly interested in getting to know you. Maybe it's something that you should make the captain and Senator Cruz aware of. Should I tell my superiors that the target has displayed? Um, yeah. Okay, undercover plus one. We got this. I suppose you're right. This way, if anything goes wrong, it's not my fault. You know, he reminds me of uh, Tanner. Sorry. I, I, I know it's okay. He reminds me of Tom, too. There's just something similar about them. You can't beat yourself up over Tom forever. Nor can I just pretend like it didn't happen. Later that evening. Oh. We got our room anyway. We got our room anyways. Lit. You have one new text message. See, that's why you want to be very careful of them choices. We still got our room. Victoria, we've learned that there are some men hanging around near the football locker rooms. Holden has practice tonight. Can you please go make sure he's not in any danger? Absolutely. I pretend to be going for a run, so I'm already in the area without him being suspicious. Thank you. I'm so grateful for to have you looking out for my son. Uh, tap the outfit you like to be seen when wearing Holden. Oh. My bad. I... Okay. I ran the entire distance across campus in the direction of what I had been told by the RA were the football fields and locker rooms. The sun had fully set on my way over and there was little light provided by the lampposts. Jumping a college student? This just seems like something below our pay grade. This isn't just a college student. He's a senator's son. And we're being paid some big bucks to, how do you say, put him on a commission. They were here for Holden. Yeah, I just finished up in the gym. I'm about to head back to my room now. You, you about to get jumped. I should uh, call for Jen and Tanner. I don't know if I can do this. I'm too outnumbered. Maybe Jen and Tanner can come to his rescue. Hey, Victoria, what's up? Go help this boy. <laughs> Jen, I need your and Tanner's help. What's going on? Are you okay? A group of guys are planning to attack Holden outside by his locker rooms, and I need backup. I just don't feel equipped to handle this one. I'll be right there with Tanner. Stay out of sight and just keep your eyes on Holden. Thank you, Jen. Plus, 
we're going to look so suspicious if we just get out there and just start hi ya on all these hired hands. I want to go help Jen and Tanner, but it's probably best I don't lose track of Holton. They seem to be holding their own. I need to be on the top of my game from now on. Jen and Tanner won't always be around to help me out in a bind. A sissy did fine. <laughs> he's fine. He's alive. He's well. It's good. Is he knocking on our door? Holton, oh. I wasn't expecting you. I know this might come off as rushed or unconventional since we only just met, but would you want to maybe get dinner when I just Oh, yes, we would, of course. I knew I wasn't supposed to be interested. But if I was being honest with herself, she's going to go for him. Yes, I wanted to get dinner with Holden Cruz. To be continued. Let's be real. The good sis is ready for Operation Coochie back. She is feeling him. He is feeling her. He ain't going to need to be protected. He's going to need protection for later on. But I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye.